I'm gonna make a bold prediction. I think that the guitar that I'm holding right now will be one of Martin's top sellers once more people learn about it. This is the Triple O 16 Streetmaster. Very impressive what they've done on this guitar. Stick around, I'll tell you all about it. How's it going, y'all? My name is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Find us online at alamomusic.com. Subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on, comment on everything, like it all, and uh, check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, if you want to hear more guitar-related opinions from us. Now, uh, I had a pretty big opinion at the top of the video. Gonna be one of the most popular models. That's a vague statement to make. I think it's gonna be extremely popular and probably outsell its predecessor, which was the Triple O 15 Streetmaster. This is the Triple O 16 Streetmaster. Now, Streetmaster refers to the finish of the guitar. As you can see, it's all banged up. It's somewhat relict, one might say. It's definitely not uh, got gouges and checking and everything in it like say a Fender Custom Shop or a Murphy Lab or anything like that. It's a worn finish that they've put on the top of the guitar to sort of, I think they say, pay tribute to the working musician. Um, I was never super into the look of the guitar. It, it didn't make sense to me. Just get yourself a triple O 15 M or a 15 SM. Um, the, so basically 15 series, you got three models uh, in the triple O body. The 15 M, all mahogany, triple O. Um, 15 SM, it's a slotted headstock version, also all mahogany. And then the triple O 15 M Streetmaster, just like the triple O 15 M, but got the Streetmaster treatment. When they released the 16, I also kind of see the 16 series as this redheaded stepchild, just like the 17s. You know, it's they they're cool. They've got cool history, but. Um, it's in a weird spot between the super popular 15 and the super popular 18, all mahogany, spruce and mahogany, respectively. Um, the 16, we see a lot of D16s, a lot of triple O 16s um, that have come through the store over the years, both in mahogany and rosewood. Really nice guitars, often gloss top, satin back and sides. And they're really, really nice. The people that buy them and play them love them, and they sound great because they're Martin all solid wood, um, American made guitars. And when they made the 16 Streetmaster, I figured, okay, well, they're just, you know, they're adding on a finish option. The coolest thing about this guitar is what's going on on the inside. So this is a spruce top, but is Adirondack spruce, which is something that you don't see a ton on standard series guitars from Martin. Typically, it's all gonna be Sitka. And on top of that, they have done VTS or Torrefaction, or how they say, you know, VTS is Vintage Tone System. This is heat-treated Adirondack wood to put it into kind of a aged tonal profile. They've heat-treated the wood much like Taylor does, Gibson does. You know, a lot of companies have become wise to the fact that they can heat-treat the wood, get this whole thermal aging process, and bring out some of the sweetness that you get from a played-in guitar. It makes sense because this is made to look like a plate-in guitar, and now you have the uh, VTS Adirondack top, premium spruce wood, and a aged system. So they really went all in making this kind of a brand new, well-loved, worn-in guitar, and it sounds incredible. Since it's 16 series and um, you know it's Adirondack spruce top, they put some East Indian rosewood back in sides, uh, really nice tonal combination. So basically, it you know you can compare it to the tone of like a Triple O Twenty Eight um, Spruce and Rosewood, but even a Triple O Twenty Eight all the way up Modern Deluxe, you're not going to get Adirondack Spruce. It's going to have Sitka Spruce, and you'll have to go into the uh, Modern Deluxe series to get VTS Wood. You know, some here and there they have it, but typically that's Sort of, I associate Adirondack tops with special run or custom guitars like ours, and I associate the VTS with modern deluxe guitars. So super premium features where it matters the most, which is the top, the soundboard. That's going to affect all the tone right there. So you're starting with this beautiful foundation of the most intense spruce that spruce can be that's been VTS'd, and uh, it's got rosewood back inside, so you get all that 
low end, the high end sparkle, the mid range scoop, so it's perfect for a singer songwriter, and uh, just a fantastic guitar. Everything else, you know, you got a mahogany neck, 24.9 inch scale length, one and three quarter inch nut, so it's just going to be exactly like the triple O's that we know and love. Um, nice vintage style, open gear tuners. Beautiful guitar, really impressed with the sound. When I saw that they were introducing this guitar, I've been excited to play one for months and months, and it's finally here, and it did not disappoint. I'm gonna play you a few different things on it. Check it out. There you have it, a little bit of the Triple O 16 Streetmaster. I think it sounds absolutely fantastic. Couple other notes. Um, one, scalloped X bracing. So that's a must, but just worth it to say because somebody's going to ask in the comments. And I love the inlay that they did. This is the same inlay that I chose on our custom shop, which is the Diamonds and Squares short. All you got is five, seven, and nine. I think it's a really nice, understated look. And truthfully, when I first saw the Streetmasters, my biggest problem was. You know, they aged the top. It looks like, you know, an old guitar. It's a brand new guitar. I'm not a huge fan of relicking. That's why I stick to on Fenders, Closet Classics, and Journeymans. I don't want it to look way too aged. But something about the this kind of range of Martin guitars, I do love the 15 series. It's very, very simple, classy guitar. And 16, um, as they are, as they were, um, do have a little bit of the appointments, the adornments of a, you know, a rosette design and a pit guard and all that. And that's not anything super fancy, but it is adding on to the look of the guitar. This is absolutely plain top. Everything that you see, this does look like reveal binding, but obviously it's also made to look like it's just been worn over the years. Very simple rosette that's just like a five ply line, black, white, black, white, black. And the sound hole's been worn away a little bit. It's just, uh, they went really, really simple on it, let the tone speak for itself, and then you got that aged look. Um, but so many people 
have started gravitating towards the 15 Streetmasters over a typical 00015M. Um, and they sound great because they're all mahogany Martin guitars. This I would 100% pick over like a normal 00016 Rosewood or, or mahogany, whatever it is. Um, Adirondack Spruce is an incredible upgrade. VTS, even better. And, you know, it is not a cheap guitar. I believe it's right around the $2,000 mark. But once you're getting into Martin Standard Series, you're much higher than that. Um, with 18s through 45s, it gets up to $10,000. This is a $2,000 guitar with premium appointments and none of the extra stuff that doesn't contribute to the tone. So I think it's a winner. I want to hear what you guys think about it. Um, right now, we've got one of these. We've got more on the way because with that kind of feature set, we're very excited. We got enough to uh, hopefully satisfy a lot of customers, but who knows when they'll be in here. This was the first one we've gotten. It's been a really long time since we ordered them. So I hope you dig it. If you're interested, alamomusic.com is where you're going to find all the in-depth specs. But comment below. Tell us what you think about the guitar. If you prefer the 15, I know we've got a video out there. So check out the 15 Street Master video. Compare it to this. See what you like more. I think this one takes it to a whole new level. I hope that you agree. But let us know. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.